The installer, first of all, should ensure that they, they have a look at the roof, the condition of the roof on the inside and outside. They should have a look at the, the cylinder to ensure that the cylinder can be changed and the new cylinder is satisfactory and is going to, uh, going to fit. Um, and they, they should be looking at sort of all areas between the cylinder and the, the roof. They should also be asking questions about your actual hot water usage and your patterns, how many people live in the house, that sort of thing. Um, I think most of the issues we have in the industry are with people with, with fairly high pressure sales techniques and, and most of them are very front loaded companies that once they've got the sale it's very hard to actually get any sort of back any, any sort of service from them once you've paid your money. Um, most installers, it's very hard to give a price for a system without doing some calculations and doing some work on it. So uh, we never give a price on the day. We go and we do a survey and then we come back and we actually design the system and give them a price at a later date. So I think that's probably you know, a very important, we can give you an idea of price, but it's very hard to give you a fixed price until we've actually worked the system out. Um, most of the, the companies that have had quite bad press um, are, insist on you know, a, a payment there and then on the visit. They quite often um, will give you sort of a, a few price drops and to try and entice you to sign up on the day. But in, from my experience, most of the price drops, even when they get to their lowest level, are, st are still astronomically high. So um, I would certainly say signing up on the day is it should never be recommended. You should always get two to three quotes, and hopefully you, you will find a reputable installer with, within those quotes. Um, but most of all, you want to ensure that they've taken everything that you've said you know, into consideration. You know, it's, it, every, every installation we do is different, every customer we work with is different and they have different requirements. So it's very important that, you know, that, that that's all catered for. Um, I'd also be wary of that there's quite a few sales companies that are purely sales companies and they don't actually have any of their own installers. So what they'll do is they'll, they'll sell you a system and then they actually farm it out to the cheapest person who will install it for the cheapest price. And then obviously you're, you're not sort of getting the same level of quality from that. So I would say you know it's always very good to you know speak to customers who have had installations done previously, get their feedback on them, and go and have a look at some installations that have been done and, and get some recommendations. You can get a quote you know for pretty much anything online now. But the quote is going to be, it's not going to be based on any facts. You really need to have a look at an installation before you can give a fixed price. Um, obviously, when you do lots of installations, you have an idea of what the average installation is. So theoretically, yes, you could guess it and get it you know, sort of fairly accurate. Um, but you're not going to get a true price until you've actually been there to have a look. Um, and I would say it's just really important to do some checking up on the people who are actually going to be working in your house. You're going to have people in your house that are going to be affecting you know, the, the rest of your house for, for a long time. So you need to ensure that they're doing, that they're following correct design guidelines and ensuring. Quite a lot of people like putting in big collectors and small tanks because from the customer's point of view it looks very good because you've always got a tank full of hot water. Uh, but it actually makes the system not very efficient at all and you will have problems down the line. So, um, so yes, do your homework. As in, the average installation takes about two days. So we have a team of, of two people um, generally who will, who will be on your installation for approximately two days. Um, it's very different, um, every installation is slightly different. Um, but approximately two days it will, will cover most installations. Um, there's normally a day of roof work putting the collector on and connecting all the collector up, up, up on the roof and then you've got all the pipe work running in through the roof and down to the cylinder and changing the cylinder over. Um, so it's, it's, it, you can do it a lot quicker but I think to do a proper job it normally takes at least two days.